In today's video, I accidentally found more Dragon Master Magia packs. I believe in it now. I believe it's gonna happen to me now. I'm ready for it. Is this it? All right, put the money in the bag. Put it in. We're back at it. And clean. And clean. <laughs> Sort of. What is up, guys? We are back with another Dragon Master Magia opening. I was driving home and I was with Chelsea and she said, hey, let's go to Target real quick. And I was like, all right. So I pulled in the Target and I'm like, they might have more packs. I should probably look while we're in here. So we looked around, whatever, got whatever she was looking for. Then I came back, checked the pack section. Sure enough, there were more packs. You guys already saw the clips and stuff. So you know that we found more packs. It wasn't a crazy amount. I think it was 18 packs. So it's not like a ton, but... I did find out the prices are actually cheaper at Target than at Walmart, even though they always have them on a rack labeled $6.99 or six something on the first video. It was $6.99 this time, but it was only $4.49 each plus tax versus $4.70 something, $4.72, $4.79. I don't remember how much it is at Walmart, something like that. But so it was a lot more, a lot cheaper. And they also, everyone has trading cards, cannot be returned policies now, I guess, because people were trying to like open packs, return them back. So they're like, you know what? That's not happening anymore. Once you buy them, you're locked in. And naturally, I had to burn uh, how much more money? $80. Let's see. I had to burn $88.50 more cents on Dragon Master Magia. Look, we've opened for this thing many, many times. If you guys have not seen the series, this is the first time you're watching this series, go check out the playlist. We started opening this when this set released a month or two ago. We did a massive, like, six case opening after opening a bunch before that. And since then, we've opened tons and tons of packs from Walmarts. We did a whole other case opening. I haven't counted them up exactly, but I think we're around at eight and a half cases, which is like a hundred and something booster boxes, which is a ridiculous amount. So let's uh, let's see if we can get lucky here and try to pull it. So this is a uh, less than a box. So we're not even close to one case. So the, the chances are pretty low. We just want to see that QCR shine and give us hope because there are 25 QCRs in the set. By the way, there is a giveaway in this video. I'll be giving away every card except the Magia if we pull it. So if we pull Fan of You Bell, if we pull whatever, whatever, that's what we're going to uh, give away. So just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. Do you want to keep seeing the search for the Magia? Because at this point, we've opened a lot of Magia packs, right? So do you want me to continue until I pull or should we just give up? Let me know in the comments. Uh, that's how you can enter the giveaway. All right, let's go. Two from the back. We're not in the car today, so we're back in the studio. Maybe that'll give us some luck because the car has not exactly been very good. I think we, we didn't even get a QCR in there. We did get a fan of you, Bell, one time, so that's not bad. Terminal Revenge. These are really nice looking blisters. You know, the funny thing is that that one pack we pulled out to put in the every pack opening is gonna you know and you know it's gonna end up having it or something stupid like that that would be the craziest scenario ever if that's when we pulled it let's just pull it now let's just get this over with okay the search has been going on long enough we have sprite red we have ritual bees let's just end it right now we have the earthbound resonance come on come on come on come on gigantic sprite he's gigantic he's a sprite but he is not sprite cranberry okay let's keep going more dragon master magia this card is the bane of my existence. We have done, I think if you include the first couple videos, we've probably done nine videos now on this and, and not including the ones where I talked about it and it being too overvalued or whatever. That'd be like 11. So I think we've done over 10 videos about this card. It's absolutely insane. Definitely the most we've ever done for any card. Pillar of the Future and a Ritual Beast Inheritance Secret Rare. So yeah, this is breaking records in all kinds of ways. Let's try to break a record and actually pull this thing because right now we are getting absolutely destroyed. Okay, why is this one not wanna? Okay, let's try to open this a little different. Let's open it like this. There we go. This one's like stuck at the top. Okay. Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge. This is seriously some revenge for me talking crap about the Magia. It's like you will never get one. That's my revenge. We have the Freezing Change. Chains. We have the Piatti. Gathering Light. Division. And Blaze Supreme Ruler of All Dragons. Secret Rare. Still a lot of packs left. Nobody panic just yet. Nobody panic. Okay, come on. Nobody panic. This is going to be totally fine. Terminal Revenge, first edition. Can we pull some crazy stuff? One, two, th two from the back, not three. That would be a, quite the way. If we Ultra Rux and Special Demacia, that'd be wild. We have Scrap Goblin, Electro Beast, Singajin, and Ritual Beast Ulti. 
No key Drago. So I'm, here's what I'm thinking. If we continue the series, I might, look, we've been going to a lot of Walmarts. I might have to like drive to like random places just to go to their Walmarts to find more Magia packs. Because the, the packs around here, this is like stuck or something, are not working, okay? So maybe I should take like a road trip, like Magia road trip. Just drive around to different Walmarts, like go on a big route, like take all day searching for Magia. That feels like something we need to do, honestly, and drop like $1,000 at Walmart because that's what it's going to take to buy like five packs because of Walmart prices. Um... And targets, I guess they're a little cheaper. Save us a little money. We have Gen X Ally. We can still buy boxes, but the boxes are actually not as cheap as like the the, the early access. I can get them a little bit cheaper, but uh, I still I have to pay a little bit more now. So even then, they're not as cheap as they once were the very first time I opened it. So yeah, uh, in all ways, I'm going to be spending a lot more money if we don't pull this thing soon. And uh, yeah, it's pretty killer. <laughs> it's pretty killer. Though it is made, it has made some great content. The playlist is pretty cool. I have an entire Magia playlist. Uh, this is our sixth video in there. I didn't put the first couple because we weren't like all about the Magia yet. I started doing it starting with the live stream. That's where we kind of went crazy. We're like, oh yeah, we want Magia. And then we kind of failed miserably not pulling it. So we'll see. We'll see if we uh, if we do something crazy like that in the future. Maybe I will. Maybe I will do something awesome. Okay, first edition Terminal Revenge. Let's pull something epic. One, two, from the back. We have Spiritual Beast Tamer, Sprite Red, Toy Box, Earthbound Resonance, and a snatch steal, snatch stealing my wallet. I've made that joke a few times and it, it just fits more and more. The longer this goes, the, the more our wallet is being snatch stealed. Okay, come on, Monster's Revenge. What do we, th we have three, six, nine. This is like the halfway point, I think. This will be ninth pack. Is it really only the ninth pack? Do we buy more than 18? I don't know, maybe it is only the ninth pack. So far, no sign of a QCR, and that's what we really need to see. We have Sprite Brew, Sprite Brew, <laughs> Sprite Blue. That's a really good ultra rare, one of the better ones. We have a Frozen Domain. Toy Box, come on, baby. I feel like we pull that Infernoid like literally every pack. There are a couple Infernoids, but it feels like we get that same one over and over and over. Okay, I don't know why I started ripping the top off when it's way easier to just do that thing. I just did just pull the back off. For some reason, I started ripping the top off. That's kind of fun, but then you have two pieces to throw away, and it's like way more messy, you know? <laughs> okay. Give us luck, please. Target. Local Target. Look. I know you usually suck. I've talked badly about you before. I will take it all back if you bless us with one singular quarter century magia. Come on, because I'm losing a little bit. If you guys saw that vacation opening, if you missed it, go watch it. I, I, I rewatched that thing. I was like, man, I was I was losing it a little bit. We started kissing the pack. I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it got weird over there for a second. You know, we we were envisioning, we were uh, manifesting. We we're like, look, this needs to look manifesting. Though I can get behind. Like, let's try it again. Let's try it again. Actually, <sighs> okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna pull Magia, and we're gonna say something different than Magia has been pulled. Because I, I feel like I say that way too much. I say that all the time. I said that on the the Horus the other day. If you guys missed that, pretty cool. Uh, I said that and I was like, I said that also for like another two pulls and I'm like, okay, I, this is, this is too, too repetitive. We got to say something else. But when you're in the moment, you just say something, you're just excited. And that's, I'm going to try to think of something better. NG Gear Dragon. What can we say when we pull Magia? Magia, the Dragon Master Magia is finally here. What about the, the Dragon Master Magia? Manifest itself. I don't know. I don't even know. Has been pulled is just such a good. It's a good line. Okay. And, and I watched that, the clip where Leonhard and I pulled the Dark Magician so many times and he said that. I think it's just like rooted in my brain that that's a good thing to say when you pull something good. Problem is, we've said it too much. We need something new. We have, we have uh, maybe just lose our minds and be like, yes, yes. You know, it's going crazy. I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out in the moment because I'm probably not going to remember any of this when we actually pull it. Usually it's just like complete reaction. You're just like, what? You know, just going crazy. Okay, Battles of the Legend Terminal Revenge with six packs left. Six packs. I need to do an official tally of how many packs we've opened. An official tally. I won't be able to tally the whatnot, I don't think. No, I think I can if I do that with the other videos because that was part of a case. And speaking of whatnot, if, I think if you're, see, you're seeing this before the Light of Destruction stream, but we're having Light of Destruction reprint stream very soon. If you guys, if that's already happened, hopefully you were there. But if not, it's going to be on whatnot on uh, Thursday. That's the plan. We have a uh, Synchro Panic and Mirror Mage of the Ice Barrier. So no U Bell yet, no QCR yet, and definitely no Magia yet. So you, the three-headed goober. All right, come on. 
You and this this little dude back there. All right, can you please show up at some point? Like, look, I can't handle this anymore. First of all, we haven't even pulled the Millennium Shield, my favorite card, Retrain. But I've had to put it on pause because we have this stupid card to pull. And also the fact that the, the Millennium Shield set is really expensive. Is there a bent card? There's a bent card. This happened a lot with some of the cards in the set. Happened a lot with, I got like uh, a bunch of Sprite Blues and uh, Diviners like that too. And I was like, are you kidding me? It's the best Ultra. Toy Box and... Brand of Fusion, that's actually a pretty good card. Uh, you, I think you've seen the uh, the vlog opening of Magia. We had a pretty good pull of Brand of Fusion in there. Okay, four packs left. Battles of Legend, Terminal Revenge. Didn't have a lot of boxes today. We will have more in the future because I know there is somebody that's actually sending me boxes, a couple boxes to open up. So we're at least gonna have that. Hopefully I will have more from other like sources in the future, assuming we don't get in these four packs, which I believe we're gonna do it right now. You just gotta believe, guys, right now. Everybody in the chat, just believe. There's a Sprite Blue, that's a really good card. And by in the chat, I mean in the comments, because you guys are not watching this live. Scrab Goblin. We have Sacrifice Level Up. We could do a live stream and try to pull it, but we already did that and it failed. So it's like, maybe we should, maybe we shouldn't. Mirror Mage of the Ice Barrier, back at it again. Mirror Mage in three packs left. Battles of Legend. How long can this go on? We've been doing this for over a month now because apparently I went to Walmart on July 2nd. That means it was probably in June when this came out. Month and a half now? A month and a half searching for the Magia. Look, I don't want this to turn into some kind of like year long search because the farther we get away, I'm not gonna find it at Walmart. I'm not gonna find it at Targets. I'm gonna have to buy the boxes at like an expensive price. For, well, knowing Yu-Gi-Oh, what's gonna happen is they're gonna reprint Magia and I'm still gonna have to pull the original and these boxes are gonna be cheap. So maybe if I just wait it out, once the reprint happens, it'll actually help me pull it. But then the card will be worth nothing. There is a little fly flying around. Maybe that's a sign. We're flying toward Magia. Infernoid, come on, Spiritual Beast Tamer. White Circle Reef, come on, baby. A life hack, let's go. Repair Gen X controller. Not something I'm looking for. Two packs left. Two packs left. Okay, this is stuck. Come on, come on, calm down there. Calm down there, buddy. This is going to have the card we've been searching for, the Dragon Master Magia. Let's do this, two from the back. This has gotta be it right here. We're, look, oh, I love you, Dragon Master Magia, okay. Sprite Jet, we have Infernoid Piatti. Gen X controller, as a master of all powers and elements, this is one of the few Gen X monsters that can communicate with its components. Watch out, he's a master of all powers and elements, and he's only 1400 attack. Kinda sad, bro, kinda sad. We avoid re reignition, and... Dude, if I get another Infernoid, I'm going to lose it. No more Infernoid! Okay, no more Infernoid, last card. Or last pack with five cards in it. I, I'm sorry, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't excited when they did these new blisters. I kind of like them. I feel like they're gonna hold up better than the old ones. They do look pretty good. They do look pretty good. They have studio dice on them, sadly. RIP, the old 1996. And then uh, you can scan this. Thank you for supporting. Uh, please complete this survey to help get on me better serve you. Maybe one day we need to do that survey and just figure out what that is. Okay, let's, let's read this. This is what we need. This is how we manifest good luck. Battles of Legend Terminal Revenge combines the storytelling of the Hidden Arsenal series with its own signature blend of foil ups for popular cards and gives duelists another shot at tournament level cards. Brand new cards for Ice Barrier, Infernoid, Ritual Beast, Gen X, and more. There are also 25 cards in this set available as quarter century secret rares to celebrate the 25th anniversary of the Yu-Gi-Oh card game. Not a single mention of Dragon Master Magia. I just want to throw that out there. Not a single mention. So we have all this, not a single mention. Five foil cards in every pack. I'm just going to throw that out there. They didn't even mention the Magia. You know why? Because it's fake. It's not actually in the set. It's not actually here. If you've seen somebody post that they have one, it's not real. They don't have a Magia. They don't exist. So yeah, that's just how it goes. Konami, I'm... I ripped this thing open. All right, here we go. Here we go. We got this. We got this. I ripped this thing by accident. Maybe that's a good sign. Oh, no. Okay, that card's bent. That's okay. It's not the back card. It's not the back card. Okay, the back card looks fine. If we pull the Magia and it's damaged, like we did the other day, if you guys missed that video, go check it out. That it wasn't the Magia, but we pulled something damaged. Like we pulled the Dark Magician Girl of the Damage Corner. I might cry. I might lose it. I might pass out on camera. I don't know. But I, I would still have pulled it, so I'll take it. We have Ritual Beast. We have Electro Blaster. Come on, Last Pack Magic. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of this series, let me know in the comments. And if you go, make sure you go check out Wheel Goat. We've been doing that. The Wheel Goat series, playing Go format with other creators, other stuff like that we've been doing. Let's keep going. Frozen Domain and last card. 
Blaze Supreme King Ruler. Supreme Ruler of all dragons, no Supreme King. Something about these Walmart and Target packs. We just cannot get QCRs. We can only get them from boxes. They're fake. That's, that's not true. Comment section. We're probably going to have a lot of uh, conspiracy theories. You can get them. We're just getting unlucky, unfortunately. Maybe. Or maybe they're right. Maybe the conspiracies are true. Shout out to Toe Info Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, Brandon Chaney, Ian Musa Jr., Barding, Robert F. Changelang, and Aldelsa Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.